Hello everyone, today I would like to show you another distillation machine, another steel. This steel is for wrongly mixed fuel and this machine can separate petrol and diesel accidentally mixed at petrol station or whenever it's been mixed. It's a small machine, it's 1.6 kilowatt, it's capable to process 20 liters of mix per hour. This machine can remove petrol from natural gas condensates so again it's just for diesel and petrol separation for recovery for wrong fuel now it's 1.6 kilowatt 20 liters per hour it's processing 20 liters per hour and production speed actually depends on the amount or, or the percentage ratio of the fuel petrol and diesel within the mix now we've got petrol over here it's separated continuously and at this end we've got diesel fuel also separated from the mix machine is continuous and capable to run 24 7 main thing just to have enough fuel water for cooling and electricity again it's 1.6 kilowatt 220 240 volts is a control unit and it's set at 170 degrees now we've got 169 169 because we've got this weld ball weld and this tiny ball weld actually controls the supply flow and supply flow controls the temperature so you're opening up supply the way to make the steel run at approximately the temperature that's been set on this control device then if there's gonna be some slight thermal runaway it will keep at 170 degrees it won't let it go any further any higher something like that so you control it with this well but this control unit actually helps you to control it to keep it within the temperature range uh, the unit runs at 120 140 volts it's got two leads in and out now it's a 12 volt power supply just for the solid state fuel pump it's a diesel fuel pump and here we've got drum with mixed fuel it's a wrongly mixed fuel accidentally mixed fuel it sucks the fuel in and then it pumps it into the machine where you control the flow and the rest is done by the machine on a continuous basis. Now you can see the temperature climbed up to the 170 degrees at the top. And at this stage, if it will get any higher, it will switch off the relay and relay will cool it down. So it will switch off, shut the heaters now it's 169 again so you can see it's working it skips within this range it can go down 168 167 then climbs up really slowly it gets up to 170 degrees celsius and then it switches off by the control unit and this is it thank you